Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 after the end. Last episode, we, after the end, fucking hell, when the world stopped making sense, last episode, we convert to Hellenic and we're well on our way to performing the, uh, what is it, Pontifex Maxima? Something on that, anyway. Yeah, there we go. The priesthood of the Hellenic faith there and restoring ourselves, declaring ourselves as the head of the religion. The response to this series has been absolutely great. And as I said in the, um, in the update video that, you know, depending on how a series does, is whether or not I carry on with it in the future. I very much pay attention to analytics like the likes and the views, and this series is doing incredibly well, so I know for the future that you guys want to see um, sort of, I guess, more content like this. Let me know if I'm wrong there, but it does seem to be that way. Anyway, that being said, all we need to do now to uh, restore the Pontificate Maxima is control all of the baronies in Latium. So, as you might remember, I gave some independence when we first actually grabbed Rome so that we could take them for ourselves. So we can hold cities and baronies without any sort of... Um, any sort of penalty there. So, we've got to get... Uh, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, actually. Ooh. Okay, fair enough. Um, now, we do have a truce on these guys. Roma Holdings. We've got 504. We could do it because he's Christian. Um, although, bear with me here. The issue with that would be that we have a lot of Christian vassals still, as I recall. So, let's just go ahead and take a look. We might want to start re-sort of distributing the realm under Hellenic vassals. Rather than Christian vassals. So the way I'm going to do that is we're going to set it to culture. Uh, culture. Set it to my religion. We're going to go to rulers. Yes. And we're going to sort by rank. Um, no, wait. Not my religion is actually what I meant to do. Not my religion. Yeah. Search by realm. And then we'll have a look. And these are all of the rulers in our, our realm, obviously, that aren't our religion. So we've got a lot. Holy shit. Um, I'm going to have to go through one by one and revoke all of the duchy level titles, which I can do with, with no issue because of the rules of the Roman Empire. To do this as efficiently as possible, though, we are going to need the religious intolerance law, which means we need, what is that, medium centralization or high centralization or centralized, and that's it, I think. Yeah. So, how far are we off of that is the next question. Um, 509. The real question is, is Augustus Biggest Dickers going to last another nine years, given that he's 70 year old right now? Honestly, probably not. I think he's probably going to die dead very, very soon. So, maybe becoming the Pontifex Maxima is a better play with our our character, our younger character, because doing that will make the succession a lot easier, because the vassals who are Hellenic will like him more, because he reformed the religion, obviously. So, I feel like that might be a better play. And you know what? I'm quite happy to let, the, let us sort of leave Julius Augustus there. He's done a lot with his life. He reunited Dalmatia. He uh, took back, obviously, the Western Roman Empire. Reunited Italy as well, I should say. And uh, you know what? He's done... More than enough. Rebuilt, obviously, the Circus Maxima, the Circus Biggest Dickus, or the Gluteus Maxima, or, the, or some of the many names you guys suggested last episode. So I'm quite happy here to, um, to you know, just try and take back Rome um, without reforming the Pontifex Maxima. Just sort of build up the country a little bit more and and, and play tall for a while and, you know, see, see what events we can get. If we can write a Magnum Opus as well, obviously that would be incredible. But I think doing that in the time that we have left is... Probably not possible. Now, one other thing that we're doing here is trying to obviously sort out our our realm somewhat. Um, I was trying to kill off the, the Germanic sort of pagans that were still kicking around in uh, Pannonia, but I think they're actually gone now, aren't they? Um, from the looks of it, yes, I think they are gone. And we actually have a nice core sort of area of Italy that's still Hellenic. Um, what about the rest of the empire? Oh my god, it's almost entirely Christian. Understandable, seeing as it's the year 500. Got some south parts of Italy as well, and Sicily. Right, maybe we should take Sicily back. Who does that belong to? Um, we have the Vandals. Okay. Uh, Rickus Guthamund, the rough of Vandalica. 3,800 men. Obviously, we know we've got way more troops than that just with the Legio Italica and the Praetorian Guard. Again, for now. Oh, nice. We actually killed that guy back and got back, uh, not only a foot of Great Hero, but we actually got back the castle in, uh, in Rome as well. So, we've only got to get four more holdings here. Now, it's this guy. He's Hellenic. That's very annoying. Um, we might just have to take the opinion here, to be honest with you. Just because taking back a temple level holding is quite difficult sometimes. Um, can we not, like, uh, accuse him of treason? No, because he is a baron level character. Um, again, one of the easiest ways to do it would just be grant independence and actually declare war for it later on. You know what? I'm actually going to do that with the other two holdings as well. What about this guy? Until we can get religious intolerance, which is again going to take us another 10 years, this is going to be quicker because the truce is only 9 years anyway. So... It's going to be more or less the same amount of time it's going to take us here. So I'm absolutely going to do uh, not that. I'm going to grant you independence as well. And then we'll just swoop in and take them for ourselves with the uh, with the Rome Holdings Cassus Belli. Your loyal vassal, Anodius, has sent you a courier with an offer. He's willing to make a donation to your war chest. But we owe him a favor. Right, this is the leader of the Legio Italica. Um, okay, fair enough. Is he on the council? 
He is not. Right. I think I took him off the council to make him a commander, didn't I? So it wouldn't be too much of a threat. It's it's 200 gold as well. So you know what? I will do that. Um, With 200 gold, we can obviously bribe people against him if it ever comes down to a vote. 200 gold is actually going to go a long way as well. One of your courtiers while out hunting seems to have accidentally killed an animal in one of Diana's sacred groves. Um, Fred Diana for mercy and admit your mistake. Or we can say it's probably not a big deal and gain cynical. I'm going to say... Uh, oh, shit, this is the guy who, who owns the Temple in Rome. Unfortunately, you know, we're not going to inherit that. Julius Caesar Pesorus. Oh, no, wait, he is our 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 court chaplain, our augur. Pray to Diana for mercy and admit your mistakes. Yeah, I agree. He's going to be cursed by the gods. We became friends with him, though, which is obviously pretty grateful. Someone on our council there. All right, ambition. We need a fresh one. Go traveling. Probably not a bad idea. We can serve a realm with an option in tab. I probably want to find out what that does anyway. That would be useful to know what the outcomes of that are. These are dark days. My wife, Augusta Vigilantia, has been growing weaker and weaker. Um, I honestly don't care. I'm 70. Uh, there's not really any reason for marrying her besides her stats at this stage. Um, what about there's a special interest? I don't know why they're not. Alright, survey round. Let's find out what this does. 200 gold. Holy shit. After deliberation with your advisors and family, you've decided to survey your realm. The preparations will take several days, but the experience will be worth it. I cannot wait. We're out traveling. That should fulfill the ambition. There we go. Awesome. Um, find a hobby, have 10 children. It's probably not going to happen by the time we die. We're up to 7. Does it increase fertility? It doesn't. You know, I think that's more or less impossible. Um, befriend a priest. Okay. I mean, technically we just did that, so that's a little bit of a shame that we've missed that. You know what? Let's just go for, uh, find a hobby, because that will give us, you know, stat bonus as well with the, with the associated trait. My liege, may your years be short and miserable. I appreciate that. Thank you. We fulfilled the ambition to go traveling. While well, traveling in a forest, you come across a lost child. Crying, the girl says she was playing with her friends in the forest when she got lost. Um, do we want to leave her, gain arbitrary and cruel, or let's help the poor child find a way back? Of course we're going to do that. Nice. We call the little girl back to a nearby city and learn that her father is in fact one of the wealthiest merchants in the city. Crying tears of joy, the merchant tightly embraces his daughter. Wow, we are a benevolent Augustus. What should we do then? Uh, content. 10% chance of gaining content or 10% chance of charitable or humble. Um, none of those are incredible. To be honest with you. Uh, charitable or proud is fine. Or share worries with a fellow parent. We gain diplomacy plus one. I will absolutely take that. As I've discussed before, we want to start building up rapport with our vassals a little bit. So that when our son takes over, he has that uh, opinion modifier of predecessor. So that'd be pretty nice. Romanus has been growing weaker and weaker. What's wrong with him? He has the tuberculosis. I'm going to say, um, sure, call for a court position. You guys weren't happy about me having twins and not naming them Romulus and Remus. But I feel like the name Romulus and Remus need to be saved for, like, firstborn twin sons. Romulus, who is, who is destined to be the Augustus as well. I feel like that's the best play there. Um, although I will admit, that was a much better name than whatever the hell I gave them. Um, Neopotanius and Romanus. Romanus is kind of close, though. Today I'm traveling along some farmlands. Suddenly I come across the city boys harassing a pretty peasant girl. Seems like this fool is trying his hard to win the affection of this girl. Perhaps I should intervene. You boy, stop harassing that girl. You boy, learn to woo a lady properly. Hey, more diplomacy. Um, or we gain diplomacy or learning or just diplomacy. Why would we do that? I mean, I will take diplomacy and learning if you don't mind. You say the ram is almost complete. There's only a little bit more traveling to do. Right, so these are basically like a temporary modifiers. They don't last too long. Um, it's about a year's worth of... Oh, it's not even that really, is it? Oh, here we go again. Um, I suppose we go with this one then and stack up a decent amount of diplomacy. If we could die now... I'd be pretty happy with that, because obviously as the diplomacy disappears, their opinion of us will decrease, and that will make them hate our son more, because for reasons I don't understand. Now, ideally, we want to try and live till 503 anyway, so that we lose that minus 10 general opinion as well. The Regency has ended. We are home. Was that worth 200 gold? Honestly, probably not in hindsight. Um, I would have much rather sent it on uh, buildings and things like that. Castellum, level 2. Heavy infantry, heavy infantry, defense plus 17%. That's a weird number. Um... Theatre gives cultural technology points plus 0 0.05. That's quite significant. And the technology spread rate as well is pretty good. Especially as we're going to hold all the holdings in Rome. And the, the advances will stack up there. That's probably not a bad idea. Oh, revolt risk minus 10% when we flip religion might be very valuable. Wow. Um, that's very good. And that upgrades to a higher level? No, it's just one level. So is that. So it's also 700 gold. Wow, I feel like we might have uh, money better spent elsewhere. Forums, for example, to actually make some taxes back. I feel like it's a much better investment. To go ahead and invest in both of those, that's 400 gold for tax income plus 4, plus 15% technology spread rate as well, it's huge. Um, honestly, a 1 to 10 ratio on gold spent per tax income back. Um, sorry, a 1 to, yeah, 1 to 10. Um, not too bad, actually. 
Or it's going to be 1 to 100 in this case. 1 to 100 is absolutely what I meant. I meant if you're spending 100 gold and you're getting back plus 1 gold a month, that's, that's not a bad deal. And absolutely we will do that as well. Nice. That should help out our, uh, you know, not necessarily struggling taxes at all, but it will help give us a little bit of a bonus. We might as well declare some war, I guess. Um, it'd be a shame just to sit here not doing much. What if we go for the Imperial Reconquest of... Why can't we do that? What about the Unification of Italia? Is that just going to vassalize him? Because we could just revoke that title. Oh, he's got two touchy level titles. We could just revoke them again and give them to a Hellenic vassal. So I'm absolutely fine with that. Let's go ahead and reunify Italia. Sweet. He's got 1,700 men. Now, what we could do is chain walls together by hiring just the uh, Praetorian Guard and the Legio Italica. Now, I would like to keep them around for... Oh, it's a granddaughter. Okay. Um, Caesaris, biggest dickers. We're going to call you, um, Femus, biggest dickers. Femus? That'll do. Close enough. Why not? So, like I was saying, I would like the Legio Italica and the Praetorian Guard for sort of that emergency backup, just in case, uh, the Eastern Roman Empire there declare war on us, just in case, say, the Vandals or the Goths of some description declare war on us. Would be nice to have those on the back burner, because the AI, as I explained before, doesn't take those into account when declaring war, so we would have the advantage on our side there. The Emperor in the East an attempt to solve problems between the Monophysites and the Chalcedonians passed an edict condemning three religious works. The act has already received criticism in the East and West, and there are talks of a second council to be held. Right. Okay. Um, good work there. The Basilius is really screwing things up, eh? Can we declare war on him at all? We can liberate. Can we unify? Is that like a big cast spell? Okay, we've got great conquest. That's pretty impressive. Um, we got, like, great conquest of Macedonia. Uh, that wouldn't be bad. The Clairwall, Great Conquest of Macedonia. Let me just take another look at that. That's not bad. That would give us a pretty sizable chunk there. We take the uh, Mosia Inferior, the Mosia Superior. Now, obviously, we can't take Greece itself, the Kingdom of Greece, because that is his uh, capital. Um, Achacha is, is South Greece, sort of the Athens area. And we've got Egypt as well. Um, my God, taking the whole of Egypt in one swoop would be pretty impressive, eh? Might not be a bad idea. We lose 3,000 prestige, 1,500 piety, so we can't do it for ages yet anyway. That'll be something for our next character to do, I think. Got 28,000 men, so you know what? Maybe not the best plan. Even with the Legio Italica and our retinues, we've only got 13k men, so maybe not. We might have to wait until we've expanded a little bit more into uh, sort of Germania here before we do anything like that. This should be a pretty easy war, though, I think. Let's get our best commanders. Anius. Anius. And my good friend, Anius. <laughs> Classic Roman name, Anius. Today, Vigilator enthusically, enthusically, that's a new word, asked me to go on a horse ride with her. Um, we could say, I'll be first. A pleasant race in shoes. Why not? What a lovely day. That's nice. I like a little bit of flavor text in my mods. Um, my hideous, hideous daughter has consumption. You know what? Stop pestering me. I couldn't care less about you, hideous daughter. Let's assault that down. Uh, might as well get some very easy war score. Kill this army counter siege. Then I imagine we'll be in the strong 40%. Or we'll just capture him instantly. Fine. Problem solved. Hey, that was an easy expansion, I guess. Right, we put those troops down. And then if you guys don't mind, I'm going to be revoking this. Yeah, thanks. Oh, he's really sad. Look at him. Oh, he's depressed. And he's got cancer. Wow, I feel like we're kicking him out while he's down here. Huh. Sorry, friend. You know, it's just the, it's just the way the Roman Empire is going to go from now on. Oh, my God. It'd be so good to have that religious revocation enabled right now. That'd be so good. Especially in com com combination with this really powerful sort of duchy revocation. Who do you want to get married here? This lady to some... Scary and Nicene, man. I really couldn't care less. Go for it. What's their important decision? We have the ability to manage our titles. Okay, understandable. Um, I can do that myself, mainly, if you don't mind. What have we got? This this province? Where do we get this from? Okay, weird. Um, I'll just go ahead and give that to anyone. I don't really care about that too much. Uh, my religion, my culture, ruler, no. Um, then we'll search all. We'll save this as filter one. And then we'll go ahead and just grant that to anyone. Diocletian, a great Roman name there. You, my friend, get... Uh, Tyrally? Where is that? TTT Tyrally. There we go. Awesome. And then we want to give all of this out as well. Now, what is this under? B uh, Badensi. Nice. Okay, so what we can do is if we go to, say, uh... What about this dude? This is going to be another Catholic dude, isn't it? Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Let's give these away. Let's find ourselves yet another Hellenic vassal here. Grant land a title. We will give him the Duchy. Oh, he's not in our realm. Annoying. Um, you're a priest, so maybe not. Probably also want to set it to men. Uh, safe filter slot one there. We haven't got many good stewards left, unfortunately. Now, stewardship increases, as I've talked about before, the chance of religious and cultural conversion. So if we're going to give this land away, we definitely want to give it to somebody who is um, high stewardship. How much is it going to cost? 146 gold? Yeah, maybe not, eh? Um, I will just give it to any old shit then, in that case. How about my good friend... Wait, Valerius, really? What if I invite you to court? No? Where is this man? 
The Legio of Hellenica? Um, grant, I could maybe grant them a land title and vassalize them. Huh. Okay, sure. Let, let's do that then. Um, are they a, They're a holy order, right? Yeah, they are. Let's see if we can vassalize them. So I will actually grant them that duchy that we just grabbed there. Uh, Bedensi. There we go. And offer vassalization. Yes. Awesome. That's great to hear. Well, I think that went pretty well, seeing as we now have another 4,000 troops with uh, zero monthly cost and only 38 piety, 32 piety to uh, to raise there. So, hey, that worked out pretty incredibly, wouldn't you say? Centuria Gratian, the blind of the Legio Hellenica. That worked incredibly well. All right, then. Um, Who's next? My good friend, I have... Italia still? What the hell is the... I feel like we shouldn't be allowed to do that on um, Alemania here. That doesn't seem right. So let me bring together the swabbling city-states of the Empire of Italia. Ah? Uh? Are we just allowed to do that until... Oh, because of these ones. I see, right. That's not like a conquest, Casa Bella, either, is it? So... So all titles in the Empire of Italia. Right, and actually, what do we need for the Empire of Italia? Just for reference here. I assume we can't make it because we already have... Yeah, it's not the Emperor of the Western Roman Empire. So... We go to war with Thuringia, we go to war with Alemannia, and then actually we've, we've completely reunited Italia. I feel like that's a good sort of end to the story of Julius Augustus finally bringing together Italia under the Western Roman Empire again. I, th I think that's a good plan. Um, what we can do then, let's raise this dude, because obviously these are going to be very, very good. They're fighting religious enemies as well, so they get bonuses. And if we also raise the uh, these guys as well, 10,000 troops there that are basically costing us nothing. Like the world's cheapest retinues. Awesome, right. And they're also good as well. Look at this. There's 6,000 enemy infantry and then some light cavalry to, to throw along. Nicely balanced. They're still reinforcing too. This was a really good plan, I think. All right, then. Um, the blackmailer is mad. If you want my help, I want to be reimbursed. No, I'll say I'll help you in any way I can because that will increase the opinion of us. We've got this man here. Um, African Romance. Who is he? He's over in uh, Tunisia, right? Um, I feel like your kingdom is about to be swallowed up. Holy shit, yes. My God, take her out of my court. Jesus. Wow. I mean, um, Zeus's beard. <laughs> Sebastian, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, yeah, you can have her as well, my good friend. Libyan, take her away. Okay, um, this is good. Yeah, another morning when I wake up and feel tired as I went to bed, I should do something about my listless mind, and we will spend some time in prayer and medication. Medication? You could argue they're the same thing. Meditation, um, has a chance of giving us good traits as well. He's also taken off his hat because he is in, obviously, meditation there. Okay. So, this is great because it obviously means we could chain walls together with 10,000 men just sort of kicking around as well. Now, what we can do is the classic um, CK2 bamboozle maneuver. Oh, for God's sake, Peasant Revolt, really? Well, look who's passing by. It happens to be your boys, uh, the Praetorian Guard. To cool in my cave, I have subsisted on only sacred sacred roots. Okay, that, that threw me off then. Sacred roots and bitter juices favored by the priests. Too much harm to the body. And dulls the mind. We lose the trait gluttonous. So, the reason we got the trait cannibal? Um. Huh. Why did we lose the trait cannibal? Have I loaded the wrong save game and only just noticed? Well, that would be a bit shit, seeing as, um. Seeing as we made a pretty hefty amount of progress. Uh. I think I loaded the wrong altar. You know what? To include in my cave. <laughs> oh no, we're not a cannibal. I was going to say, the reason we had to become a cannibal was because we had the gluttonous trait. If we don't have gluttonous, we have an option there to obviously not eat a man. That's so odd. I must have loaded the wrong save. I apologize for that. Um, I will add back the trait cannibal though um, to keep things balanced. Add trait ca cannibal? Is that not how I spell it? Am I, am I crazy? Add trait cannibal. Um, okay, hang on a second, I'll fix this. Alright, there we go, I've added back the cannibal trait, just for the interest of fairness there. What is going around that the epidemic came to Roma? We have seen increased in cats, our people are sure that the cats are helping the spread of the disease. We've still got another disease, really? My god, what is it this time? Is it consumption? Right, I see. Uh, well, from, from my own experience, I know that cats aren't to blame for tuberculosis, uh, to some extent. So, I'm gonna say the cats are not to blame. My wife, Vigilantia, is pregnant. Very vigilante. And when I introduced my friend Tacticus, I had high hopes that they would become friends. Nice. Okay. Well, that's always good to see. The Peasant Revolt ended because they are filthy, dirty peasants and don't stand against the might of the uh, the Roman Empire here. The three combined legions of the Roman Empire. 
While carrying out my duties for the Hermetic Society, I must be patient. Do you want to make ourselves a rival? Honestly, this dude hasn't got long left anyway, so I need all the esoteric knowledge I can get at this stage. Can we really not write another magnum opus or acquire ingredients yet? It seems like we haven't done that. Oh, right, we just got the mission to do it, but it seems like we haven't done that recently. Okay, very strange. Um, we will get to the marketplace this time, because that has a chance of giving you four ingredients if you've got enough gold, and we might have more than enough gold, so it's probably the safest play. So now we're going to do what I was talking about earlier, the, uh, the CK2 Extreme Scum Tactic, um, where we got the lowest wares at the finest prices. Quality goods at low prices. Okay, um, we want to wait till we're a day away, so that's the 2nd of February. There we go. The 1st of February, sorry, is a day before the 2nd of February. Uh, and then we declare war and turn up, and there's absolutely nothing they can do about it. Because we're already here. I'm ready to kill them dead. Hello, it's us. The Roman Empire. I can't believe you guys didn't see us coming. Right, we'll siege it down the capital first and foremost. Complaints about the cats will not end. And angry mobbers gather, claiming the cats are the bringers of bad luck. So we can burn the cats. And, um, that will lower revolt risk. Minus 10%, as you can see. We could say that's absurd, and not burn the cats. And gain minus 75% tax modifier, which is ridiculous. We can say, we can try and explain it with our high diplomacy that, of course, the cats seem mostly healthy, so it's it's not the fault of the cats there. And I feel like it's the most sensible option. Nice. What do we get? Oh, we actually didn't get very much. Huh. I think it's based on our stewardship, you know. Um, saying that, we do have 16 stewardship, so it doesn't really make much sense. But we did get some copper, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Again, I'd like to have got the, the three lots of ingredients out of that, but never mind. Oh, shit. My leader of the Praetorian Guard died. Um, is this the new guy? Huh. Did I, this a, oh, he's just a random random duke, eh? Okay, that's fine. Um, can you guys not siege Rome? Oh, God. Um, so, basically, we failed the event. We've now got to pay 600 gold to get minus 10% local revolt risk. Or, say, you have no power here, Gandalf the Grey. And we get furious peasants uh, reducing our tax to zero. So, I'm going to say you have no power here. Um... Because clearly that's the best play. Now, the actual reason I did that is because I think um, when we die, that should expire. Uh, seeing as we're not going to be around that long anyway, at least... I, I feel like in my mind that was the best play just because the mathematics say that to earn 200 gold, we're going to have to be alive for another... Well, actually, not that long. Like, five months. Four months. Uh, no, wait. 600 gold. Okay. So that's like another... Uh, just over a year. Are we going to be alive for just over a year? You know what? The rate this dude is going, possibly. Um... In hindsight, that's probably not the best play. <laughs> Never mind. Today, vigilante. Yeah, okay, okay, I guess. Oh, Jesus. As you race through the woods after your wife, your, your escort pleased you to stop while hopelessly trying to catch up on their heavy horses. Suddenly, the race grinds to a halt as vigilante is knocked off her horse and tumbles to the ground with great impact. As you approach her and quickly jump off your hearse. Hearse? That might be appropriate. As you jump off your hearse, you fear the worst. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Zeus's beard. By the great wrinkly balls of Poseidon. My wife is horribly wounded. Um, actually, she's completely fine. And she's pregnant, too. You know what? That's a hardy lady. All right. Um, have we not won this war already? I suppose we've got one more bit of war gold to take there. And we had a, 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 an actually completely healthy daughter. Um, I'm going to call you um, the Horse Whisperer. There we go. Perfect. Seems appropriate to kill those men. 93% war score. Uh, let's head over here and siege down this last goal. We might as well just assault this down. Seeing as these armies are costing us next to nothing anyway, their reinforcement costs aren't really, you know, worth not assaulting down, if that makes sense. It will speed the war up by so much that and allow us to do something else and just free us up that I'm willing to pay that tiny little bit of gold to do so. Nice. We've... Oh, we also... Shit, that was an invasion, Cassus Bella, you shit. Because we took the capital. And that's definitely not part of the, the Empire of Italia. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, um... I, oh, should, I should say a conquest. Oh, no, it is an invasion castle spell. You take the, the holdings that you conquer. Annoying. All right, then. Never mind. Um, I, I assume that's a different duchy. Then. Yeah, let's create that duchy. And we'll give that away to a loyal Hellenic. There he is. Retainer. You, my friend, get Aregius. Perfect. Um, we're still one over because we have this tribe here. That's a little bit annoying. Um, can I make that? I should have made that the capital and then just given it away to a theocracy here. Um, I'm just going to give it away to you anyway because I don't want to hold it. Furstenberg. Although, what did we win from that war truly? Well, the true answer is, is knowledge. Um, the, the greatest weapon of all. By which I mean, uh, and now we now know that when we want to reunify Italia against, say, this man here, if we conquer everything, that's ours. So we could take the whole of uh, Thuringia here. Maybe not a bad plan. Now, can we do this anywhere else? Uh, have you got, like, you can just Imperial Reconquest Kingdoms anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, fair enough. 
What about Visigothica? How many men have they got? 4,300. That's barely any. Right. Okay, well, um... That's, that's changed the playing field, because we can just take all of this very, very easily, because we easily outnumber everybody and their mother in terms of men. Now, I'm going to put these troops down to let them reinforce without having to worry about attrition or disease or anything like that. Again, they're free. I mean, this guy's costing us 32 to hire it, so it doesn't matter that much. These people are costing us less than 100 gold per go, so again, absolutely fine by me to uh, just raise and lower them as and when we feel like. India, ravaged by plague? The bubonic plague? Oh my god. By Athena's pointy spear. The bubonic plague. Um, Huh. Wait, what was that trait that dude had? I didn't recognize it. Wait, come back, dude. Where are you? Uh, it was not him either. Although he is... Um, Mazadiest? Okay, cool. Uh, where was that other guy? Though? I want to see that trait. I've lost him now. Well, that's a shame. Um, Right, okay. Huh. Just when we're over consumption and uh, camp fever and every other thing that we've been hit by, we're not going to worry about this. We've been struck by... Uh, smooth criminal? By which I mean, for God's sake, invest in the friggin' hospital. Disease resistance, plus 10%. Alright, fair enough. Um, <laughs> definitely wasn't expecting that. Son will have his first task overseeing the construction of a leper colony. Maybe not the safest line of work, but uh, definitely going to help out. Someone suggested that I build some more Hermia. Herma? In the area around my residence. The Herma were a rectangular column and the head of a deity on top. Right, I got it. Um... We should show our devotion to Hermes. Blessed by Mercury. Close enough. I mean, they are the same. Uh, diplomacy plus one. So I wonder if you play um, if you play Greek, then it will say, obviously, Hermes rather than Mercury. Interesting. Phallic statues. Are you kidding me? Um, who doesn't love phallic statues? Blessed by Mercury. Given permanent diplomacy plus one and stewardship plus one. Really? We're already blessed by Minerva. So can we stack, like, god traits here? Those, those aren't opposites, maybe? Well, let's hope we get it and find out. We did. Holy shit. Those, those actually... Work alongside one another. That's awesome. Okay, then. Um, Well, we are going to have to keep a very, very close eye on uh, this plague. And obviously, close our gate when it turns up. Because I really don't want to die of the plague. This guy has so much work left ahead of him. Proconsul Anius is a follower of the Greens. Enemies of your favorite team, the Blues. Perhaps you should have a word with him. I will enlighten him. Vassal, please flip teams. My liege. My team I support is my own decision. I will never support the Blues. Wow. Gripping gameplay here. <laughs> Arguments over sports teams. My wife is pregnant again. Oh my god, we should have taken the ambition to have 10 children then in hindsight. I still can't believe how hideous our daughters came out. And she's got lover's pox. Excellent. To the wise poet Emperor Julius, I write you with a proposition. We are both esteemed members of the Hermetic Society. Would we like to study the sky? Absolutely. Rank me up, boys. Maybe we can finish our... He had a friggin' heart attack at the age of 21. He had a frigging... Julius, big as dick as you and my only son, I've put any eggs into the basket of. My other one has consumption. Neopotanius is five. I'm 73. We're not going to have an heir that can take over. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, well, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, wife, educate your son because you are actually very good. Um, other son, Romanus, uh, please be educated by my wife, your mother, as you would more commonly call her. Uh, who else have we got here? We've got... Oh, that's it. We've only got two sons left. Romulus and Remus. My god, my prophecy came true. So we're playing as Neopotanius, which isn't right at all. Close the gate. Cl close close Rome. Bar Rome off. Shut the gates. Seal it dead. Okay. Well, uh, this is annoying because... Well, we're already a cannibal, so what the hell have we got to lose at this point, honestly? We got a nice new hat because we leveled up in the rank of uh, the Hermetic Society there. It was not hard to locate Initiate St Storakios' laboratory. I don't think that's how you say that. Fabianus tells me as we enter the castle, while old Str Stor <laughs> Greek man has no talent for keeping secrets, he does not know how to hire proper guards. We could use Mercury and uh, Copper and Mercury to give them dreamless sleep. I think Mercury will give them more than that. I think it will give them death. And we failed immediately. We just immediately failed. To be honest, we can't exactly leave our... Oh my god, it's here. Oh, hang on. This is going to be so good. Oh. Chance of getting more blessings here. Nice. Okay. Did we get any? We didn't get any. We got some piety, though. So this is going to be very good for the realm. Why? Because it's going to kill off all of our vassals. So I can replace them with new and improved Hellenic vassals. Great. Okay. Um, military organization for our retinues. Naturally, it's going to be a very, very good thing here. How's the leper colony going along? Um, pretty good. Did we not need to hire a new steward, seeing as mine actually died? Um, Volasanius, who will hopefully like me a little bit more now that we've given him. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, honorary title for you. You can be my Comma Sancrum Lagritorium. Lagritorium. 
and I will have you overseeing the construction of a leper colony in the middle of the plague and consumption. I feel like you're the best guy for it. Um, oh no, we've just got the plague. It's okay, guys. It's just the plague. And let's build a soup kitchen as well. Not much disease resistance there, but the piety will add up over time. Named Aetius, another backup son. Sickly, secluded with courtiers. You'll be trained in thrift, and I'm going to call you, um, Seal the Gatius. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Series of the year. Okay, let's go ahead and give our son a proper education under the Emperor himself, seeing as my wife already has two kids, and I feel like we might as well give it a risk. Bishop Tacticus, you must attempt to save my seal, the Gatius. Thank you, Tacticus, for giving my son a second chance. Yes, I appreciate that. Dangerous factions, really? Go to Zeus, Fabianus? Oh, shit, the plague got him. Oh, God. Um, that's my apprentice and assistant dead. What is this? Independence? Why? The too big. Too many how duchies. Oh, okay, fair enough. You know what? I'll deal with that. Hang on. Oh, this is going to take a lot of management, unfortunately, because every vassal is dying, and obviously we're taking this out back because we gave them out as vice royalties, which is still fine. It just means we've got to worry about, you know, a little bit of inheritance here and there, that type of thing. The republics we don't have to worry about, we've got two of those right now, so that's that's okay. Um, let's give away some honorary titles, not that it'll matter. You know what, is there much point doing this because everyone's going to die of the plague? Honestly, let's wait till after the plague is over. We might as well give our wife a, a, a title there. Sure. What can we do now? Um, we could perform a great sacrifice to the gods and hopefully gain some uh, some health or something. Um, I, I really should read what that does next time because I always forget to. Sacrifice to the gods. Marshal plus one, diplomacy plus one. Hey, that's not bad. We don't want to die in seclusion. That would be the worst case scenario because we get minus five diplomacy, which is obviously lowering everyone's opinions of us. That being said, I'm going to give out some gold in between episodes. Make the vassals like us so that if we die of the plague, our son can take over and hopefully be somewhat liked and not hated too much. Thank you for watching. Next episode... The Pontifex Maxima will be ours. And you know what? We could actually start work on that. Um, I mean, now if we wanted to immediately next episode. Big shout out to all of my top tier patrons. Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Lucas Holting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvy, Escape, and Jackson Widman. There's a one written on the end of that. Let me, let me delete that. That's throwing me off every single time. And of course, everybody else who's backed on Patreon as well. Nathaniel Limburg, Brandon Montoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Steel. Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noble S, Quet Lashley, Zar Even, Fancuno Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I'm the Lizard King, Lou Alan Thomas, Yoran DeVries, Uvertees, Duncan 27, Jordan Campbell, Asaro, and Sadini. Thank you all for your support. Hope you're enjoying the series. Again, it's doing really, really well. Like, the support for this has been incredible, and I'm very much enjoying playing it, because it seems like a really fun playthrough, to be honest. We've got a very clear goal to reform Rome, the Hellenic Rome. See you next time.